A combination wrench tightens and loosens nuts and bolts using its U-shaped open end or its enclosed box end with a hexagonal shape. To start, a steel bar travels into a die cutting machine that cuts it into lengths called billets. Each billet will become a wrench. One by one, a machine feeds the billets into an induction heater. It heats them to more than 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, then sends them into a forging press, where the first die creates the wrench's general shape. The second die gives it its finished shape, and the third trims off the excess metal. The wrenches exit the forge press and pull off on their way into a collection box. Then a worker grinds off the trim line, a thin line of excess metal created when the top and bottom dies come together. This bend machine gives the box end a 15 degree angle. A vertical milling machine then drills a hole into the box end, using coolant to keep the drill from overheating. This is a hydraulic hex brooch machine. The brooch tool is what gives the hole a hexagonal shape. Opened end wrenches also go through a broaching operation. In this case, the brooch tool shapes the open end into the desired size. The wrenches now undergo a three-stage heat tempering procedure to harden and strengthen the metal. Ceramic stones and a chemical solution polish the wrenches for eight hours, giving them a bright luster finish. A machine then dips the wrenches into a nickel plating solution that helps make them corrosion resistant. This series of baths then plate the wrenches with trivalent chrome, which is a safer, more environmentally friendly alternative to traditional plating methods. After a final rinse in water, the wrenches come out with a bright cosmetic finish. Combination wrenches are available in a variety of sets, all conveniently organized and neatly stored.